Hey guys, what's up? First of all, I want to thank to every single one of you for sticking around and watching my videos. I know that it's been a long time, like I haven't posted on this channel in like six months. And yeah, so if you're watching this video and subscribe to my channel, I want to thank to each every single one of you. And for those of you who are new to my channel, for those of you who are watching my video, this video for the first time, welcome to my channel where I document my English learning process. In this video, I want to talk about what's next for my English learning process. As of today, uh, I will start to post every single week on this channel. And the thing is, in the last six months, like in the last year, I kept practicing. I kept practicing English. I kept improving my English. Now, many of you know that I always learn English with scripts, right? I get my scripts, you know, I practice with TV shows, I practice with movies, I practice with youtubers i always get those scripts get those subtitles and i practice with those scripts this is how i keep improving my english right so in the last eight months even though i didn't post on youtube i kept filming myself now the thing is i was very busy so i didn't have time to edit those videos that i had filmed so as of next week those videos that you will be seeing on my channel, those videos are from like six months ago, three months ago, eight months ago. So I just wanted to clear this up and wanted to be very transparent with you guys. In the next videos, you will see me mostly practicing with TV shows and movies, right? You will see me practicing with the script of movies and TV shows, subtitles of the movies and TV shows. I will get those subtitles and scripts of those scripts of those TV shows and movies and I will be practicing. And other than that, on YouTube, I will binge watch the uh, talk shows or interviews of the artists, my favorite artists or actresses of those from those TV shows and films or directors from those TV shows and films. I will watch their interviews, their talk shows and their podcasts and I will be practicing with them. So that is my that is gonna be the core of my English learning process. The main reason I would wanna I wanna do that is because uh, obviously by practicing with TV shows and movies, I will be improving myself culturally in terms of culture because every single TV shows or movies cover different various different topics, and that make me really excited. So basically, I will be have a chance to expand in my vocabulary in a very drastic way because I will be watching a movie where movies about the uh, relationships or politics or social issues like i will be watching different tv shows and i will be practicing with the different tv shows so basically that will give me a really high chance to improve my vocabulary and my uh, speech that will also help me to diversify my speech and also it's so funny you know when you go on a date or when you meet up with your friends you will ha i always have a chance to talk about tv shows and movies and uh, actors and actresses that also gives me a really uh, good a chance to you know talk about many different topics i just want to keep this in mind when it comes to learning a language you can't stop using the language what i mean by it is once you stop using the language, whether it's your first language or it's second language, English or third language, whatever language you're learning, once you stop using the language, you will get rusty in that language, okay? The, th the same thing goes for your first language as well. Like, you know, for instance, my first language is Turkish. I started speaking more English than Turkish in the last year uh, because of the YouTube videos. So basically, my Turkish is not as good as it used to be like six years ago. I feel more comfortable expressing myself and my emotions in English than uh, in Turkish. If you want to learn a language, if you want, if you want to learn English, for instance, you can't stop using language. So this, this is why you need to practice the language every single day. You need to use the language every single day. So you might be asking me, like, Arsene, why do you still keep practicing? Why do you still keep making videos about learning English? You know, because you will see me. Rather than giving you guys tips, you will see me constantly learning English, constantly practicing English, constantly learning new words, constantly speaking. The reason why I'm doing this is because I live in a country where I can practice English. I don't have a chance to practice English all the time because everybody obviously in this country speaks Turkish, right? Since I'm not living in Europe right now and since I don't have a job where I constantly can practice English, this is the only time that I get to practice English. I get to speak English. This is the only time I get to speak English. I wasn't aware my eyeline fell under the jurisdiction of school rules. Here we go. Try to impress your classmates. Jesus. 
did all look too impressed to me. I wasn't aware my airline fell under the jurisdiction of schoolgirls. Trying to impress your classmates, they didn't look too impressed to me. Does he eat chalk? Does he have a hump in your piece? Wait, does he eat chalk? Chalk. Is there any food? Your sister's reheated a lasagna. Oh, good effort, Marianne. Is there any food? Your sister's reheated lasagna. Those of you who have 2020 vision, count your blessings because we're in contacts. <laughs> it's. Awful. Those of you have 2020 vision, count your blessings. Like, that feels horrible. That feels horrible. About a year and a half ago, I. My voice just cracked. About a year and a half ago, my voice just cracked. At this time, no. Why? Would you like an invitation next time? No, not this time, no. Why? Would you like an invitation next time? It's literally only just getting dark. You've got the heating on full and the curtains wide open. It's literally just only getting dark. You got the hidden off land, currents wide right open. You got the hidden off land, currents wide right open. You know that I always practice with scripts, and scripts like my only way of learning English. And I really enjoy this uh, process. I really enjoy this way of learning English, you know, with scripts. Because when I practice with scripts, I improve my speaking skill more, mainly. And also, practicing with the scripts of TV shows and movies help me improve myself culturally. In terms of culture, you know, I get to see many like TV shows, I get to watch, I get to see and watch many TV shows and films and I get to practice with those TV shows, I learn new new words, new topics in every single movies and TV shows and for me it's a very very fun process, you know? So basically I will never stop practicing with script because I really enjoy this process and I will dedicate my entire time to make good videos. I learned English with friends as a beginner and I learned English with the first 15 episodes of Friends for like 6 or 8 months and in every episode there were approximately 120 words that I didn't know like and also in total I learned 1800 words after studying for like 6 to 8 months with the first 15 episodes of Friends in total I learned 1800 lines from Friends and then I went with House of Cards and when I was learning English with House of Cards uh, like in every episode I was learning uh, approximately 350 words and in total after practicing with House of Cards I learned 2,800 words from House of Cards and after practicing with House of Cards I practiced with The Crown. I practiced with the first 10 episodes of The Crown and in every episode there were approximately 205 words that I didn't know, like I was learning new words in every episode, in every single episode and at the end of the first 10 episodes of The Crown in total, I learned 2,000 words from the crown. 2,000 words from the crown, 3,000 words from the house of cards, and uh, 1,800 words from the friends. Almost like 7,000 words. If you think about it, like I started as a beginner, and at the end of like a year and a half, I was at a very good level. So my hope is for myself, I hope I will be always improve my speaking skill in the future. I want to go to Europe and live there. I don't know which country that I will be going, but you know, this is my dream, honestly. So my hope is for you to get inspired or motivated by watching my videos and so that you know you can practice by yourself and you can find the best way of learning English that works for you. In this video, if I have to give you one advice, very simply, very short advice, very briefly, I would say that combine the things that you love in your life with learning English process and, and make sure that you get a job or you do something in your life that includes, that requires you to speak English. What I mean by that is, six years ago in one of my videos I said this and I will keep saying that, I made sure that I told myself, Arsen, whatever you do in your future, you will do something, whatever job you will get in the future, that, that, that job needs you to require speaking English. First of all, you know, because if, if you have a job that requires you speak English, first of all, obviously your salary is going to be good. You will, have, you will have an international network. You will have people from all over the world. And you will get to meet people who are speaking English uh, from different countries. So you will have a chance to get familiar, get to know people from different cultures that are coming from different cultures, backgrounds, etc. That was my decision. So, but then... Instead of getting a job in Turkey, I decided that I want to make YouTube videos in English. 
I want to help people. I want to share my way of learning English. So maybe some people benefit from my way. Maybe you can benefit from my way of learning English. And maybe this is how you can improve your English by just studying yourself with spending no money, without taking any course, just you can really, really learn English by yourself. So this is why I wanted to kind of like uh, share with the world that you can literally learn English by yourself. If you're being patient, if you're dedicated to learn English, you can do it by yourself. You don't need any money. You don't need any course. You don't need any, you don't need to take any class. You don't need a teacher. You can literally do it by yourself just by yourself. Yeah, so basically I decided that I wanna make YouTube videos as much as I possibly can while I still keep improving my English. Basically, as of next week on this channel, I will be posting every single week as much as I possibly can uh, and I will keep practicing and we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, see you next week as of next week with my Learn English Diaries.